Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video about anxiety because it would really help me if I had known these things years ago, and this might help you. Anxiety can manifest many symptoms. It can actually mimic almost any disease, and I've been a victim of this for a very long time, and always thinking something was wrong or and something was wrong, of course, um, but I didn't know the cause. Uh, lots of, from migraines to stomach pains, ulcers, burning skin sensations, uh, nausea, um, ringing in the ears. I mean, gosh, I could go on all day, but there's a lot of symptoms. Derealization, depersonalization disorder depression, these are all byproducts of anxiety. Sometimes anxiety can be a, a byproduct of depression, but I'll talk about that later. So essentially, the goal is to not freak out because freaking out causes tension, it causes inflammation, it can cause things to worsen. Uh, the body, when it is in a heightened state, uh, more epinephrine, norepinephrine, adrenaline, glutamate, these excitatory neurotransmitters, these things can wreak havoc on the nervous system, especially when they're elevated for a long time, cortisol as well. And um, this can throw your body out of balance and create a lot of the symptoms that we experience with increased anxiety. I've suffered for, for many years. From these symptoms and I still do today but I have tools in my toolbox that allow me to calm them down and make them not last as long. I no longer get panic attacks. Most of the symptoms stay under control and I don't take any medication for it. I have experimented with some medications for some of some issues that I'm having but that's a kind of a different story. But it all comes back to anxiety. So anxiety can degrade your health. It can um, cause problems down the road. And the important thing is to try to figure out the root cause. Because remember, anxiety is not normal. Anxiety in a chronic state is definitely not normal. So a lot of people that I've talked to that haven't experienced anxiety have a negative opinion about it and there's sort of a it's sort of taboo but it's growing there are millions and millions of people that are affected by anxiety I mean their mental or mood, mental and mood disorders are affecting probably close to a quarter of Americans over 300 million prescriptions of antidepressants and 80 million prescriptions of benzodiazepines every year it's an epidemic in this country, and it's taken me many years to try to figure things out on my own because I didn't get better from medication. So I'm not a doctor, and I'm not trying to tell you to stop taking your medication and, and consult your doctor if you feel you need to. This is a representation of what I have experienced and ultimately what I feel to be the truth after years of suffering, countless um, reports and documents, research papers, books, testimonies. I've talked to thousands of people online in person over the years to develop what I have come to learn, you know, a protocol that works for me and a lot of people I know. So this is a collaboration of what other people have learned and I have learned on my own. Ultimately, if you cure the anxiety, then a lot of these symptoms will go away. And I'm not going to say that all symptoms, if you have cancer or something like that, that's an anxiety issue. <laughs> but for me and for probably many of you, you know that you get flares or you have whatever when you have anxiety. The first thing to remember is that anxiety causes tension. Like for example, I hold a lot in my neck. So, so that can cause tense muscles over time, especially if you don't realize that you're tensing. And these muscles 
will start affecting nerves. They'll start getting tighter. They'll start contracting. And when they pull on the head, this is, can cause headaches. It can pull on the scalp and cause headaches. Um, it can cause bladder pain, bladder problems because of similar, similar issues, the, the pelvic floor muscles. So anxiety can cause back pain. It can cause pain anywhere. It can cause, um, like we said, it can mimic almost any disease. So how do we get this under control? Well, like we talked about, anxiety is not natural, but anxiety, okay, let me back up a little bit. Anxiety is natural in the sense if you're getting chased by a bear or a wolf or you're trying to save your child, that those reserves, those energy reserves in your body, there's a system in place that's going to allow you to run faster, uh, climb better, lift more to save your life or save your child's life. This adrenaline response is an evolutionary trait that is supposed to be a beneficial situation. After the body goes through the this process, and essentially the blood is shunted away from the internals, your from your digestive system, from your heart into your extremities, and this can cause flushing and burning sensations, um, all that sort of thing. So, and a stress response can be as subtle as being stressed at work, or being stressed from the kids, or being um, dealing with a breakup or any number of things. Uh, if you're chronically stressed, and most of us are because we lead lives that frankly are stressful, then these are likely to occur. So breathing techniques, <sighs> diaphragmatic breathing, which is where you breathe through the nose and you want to breathe out through the stomach. release the stomach so instead of the chest breathing like me a lot of people breathe chest that's shallow breathing if you do diaphragmatic breathing you're going to trick your body into thinking everything's calm because when you're breathing calmly in this way your body says oh wait a minute he's not panicked he's breathing in a calm manner so that is one tried and true method that works unbelievably well for panic attack. Um, so there's a lot of herbs, excuse me, there's a lot of supplements, there's a lot of alternative therapies that can work. You want to get enough sleep, you want to exercise, and you want to eat correctly. My anxiety disorder, my panic disorder, ultimately probably started from poor lifestyle habits, lots of caffeine in college, lots of horrible foods. So I was putting putting in all the bad stuff, and I wasn't taking in any good stuff. I mean, the body and the brain can only last for so long. So after a while, um, we started degrading ourselves, and I did that to, to myself for quite a while. So it's important to realize how important lifestyle is. And, and me, back then, I didn't think that had any impact. I was pretty ignorant, thought I knew everything. Um, it's been a process of cleaning myself up. I lost 50 pounds. I run every day almost now. I, I work out. Another thing is toxins build up in your body, so <clears throat> they like to store in fat. <clears throat> so by so being leaner, being more healthy, and even if you have to start crawling, I mean, or walking, you have to reach inside yourself and make the changes and commit and you'll see a lifestyle of difference. The paleo diet is absolutely phenomenal for depression anxiety, and anxiety. Um, it'll help restore the balance in your body. Amino acid therapy, books like At Last of Life, The Mood Cure, these things explain a lot of this stuff. Um, and not worrying about it is one of the best remedies for a lot of symptoms. Um, a lot of times we tend to cycle through worries. Oh, why do I have anxiety? Why am I feeling anxious? Why do I feel anxious all the time? Why am I, why is my skin burning? Why is, why do I have a headache? Is this ever going to go away? We start to, to mentally compound our problems and it makes it worse because 
evolutionarily, if that's how you say it, we want to understand what is happening. We like to chew on it so that we can make a better decision. But it's almost, it's a backfire of an evolutionary trait because by doing that, by obsessing, by constantly thinking over and chewing on these ideas and these problems, we're creating an atmosphere that's conducive to anxiety. So our anxiety is fueling our anxiety. So I'm not cured by, by any means, but I used to be so bad I couldn't even drive a car on the highway. I had reached that point, and I was on medication, Xanax. Now I take no Xanax and I drive for Uber just for fun. I go on night rides by myself down the highway. Um, I'm not where I want to be, but I've made so much progress getting off of medication and trying to understand the core of what is wrong. Realizing that I am, I'm a human. I'm a, I'm an animal. I have instincts and that I wasn't designed to be eating horrible food, eating lots of sugar, and uh, being on medicine. Ultimately, if you give your body what it needs, you give your brain what it needs, it'll heal itself. The mind is a powerful thing. So meditation, yoga, these have been proven to increase GABA and have positive effects on anxiety disorders. Uh, depression can be an underlying cause as well, but a lot of the same, same methods apply to that. So anyway, this is a generalized video on anxiety, and I'm going to have follow-up videos because I finally reached a point in my life where I feel confident in myself and I'm on the right road. And I want to share my experience with other people who may be suffering from anxiety and have similar questions that I had and, um, and hopefully get answers to you so that you don't make a lot of the, the mistakes that I made and spent years and years and denial and pain. Um, ultimately, we can get through this together. I've done it, and I can be here to help you now. Um, it's always helpful to, to watch videos and, and have hope and see somebody that's been through it. I've been through it, and believe me, I mean, I was to a point, I was agoraphobic. I didn't want to leave the house. And now I'm planning trips. I'm planning life again. Um, and that's through... The things I've learned, like I said, from a collaborative effort of many sources. So subscribe to my video and I plan on posting a lot more in relation to supplements that I've tried, um, medications that I've tried, things that didn't work out, things that did. I'm going to have reviews on um, things like that. I'm going to talk about subjects related to anxiety, depression, medication, natural therapies, anything in that wheelhouse. So feel free to comment if you want a video or clarification on a particular subject. I can make follow-up videos. I'm here for you because I've been there and I want to share what I've learned because ultimately I want to use the years of pain and suffering to fuel a desire to help other people. And that's why I'm here. So once again, thank you for watching. And there is always hope and things will get better. I promise they'll get better. Even if you are despairing and feel like you'll never get out of this constant panic attacks, constant depression and derealization. You feel weird and the world is falling apart and you're an alien and you're 2D or um, whatever it is. Headaches, burning, bladder pain, you know, any number of things that can be caused by dep or depression and anxiety we can get through this and we're gonna i'm gonna teach you the concepts and the chemistry and the science to get through this with me okay uh subscribe and i will be back later thank you